Good morning, it's Monday. Guess who fell asleep with damp hair? But it's beautiful, who cares? Who cares? And it's gone now, it's quarter past nine. Been very naughty and um, didn't get up at the crack of dawn and crack on my things straight away. Like I normally do that on a Monday. Um, right, that and that. What was I saying? Quarter past twenty past nine, and um, I obviously needed a little bit of a sleep today after a long weekend of lovely shopping of things, and I will show you a little bit later some of the things that I bought. Because did very much enjoy going shopping all weekend. I just got a thumbs up from mum. And mum got a very exciting clothesline. She's really chuffed at that. But yeah, I shall show you the things that I bought. And then, well no, actually before that, after this, I will show you individually and in extreme detail all of the items that are going out today that's all 65 orders blimey yeah i've already packaged eight of them up because they are two kilogram lots of jewelry so i've already done those did them yesterday but yeah got the rest to do this morning's going to be fun especially as well since um i didn't have enough money i knew i wasn't gonna have enough money in my account today in my ebay account to pay for all of today's postage so i changed the daily payment so that i would get paid my week's paid today instead of tomorrow and it still hasn't come in yet and um yeah so i can't actually pay for all the postage until my ebay payment is in it's gonna be a groovy day Anyways, I'm having some uh, ketogenic toast with butter on. Nom nom. And obviously some coffee. And I will be back at some point soon. I've got all my stuff together and I'm stood up to show you the sales. Are you ready? It's going to be a while. You might want to skip forward, I suppose, a bit. But for those who are interested... Okay, some Bohemian Gypsy Crips, Crip, oh God, Creole style earrings, £5.59. Two bangles, a mother of pearl one and a mother of pearl inlay one, uh, £7. A euro shaped money clip, £5.59. A crawling tree frog pin, £4.99. Silver scenes, signed MASJ, Marianne Story Jones from 1990. I went for eleven ninety nine. This agate and amber glass coloured beaded necklace, eleven ninety nine. A job lot of cufflinks, nine ninety nine. A job lot of solo silver earrings, sterling silver earrings, thirty five pounds. A vintage lot um, of jewellery went for twenty eight pounds. A green Bowden skirt, eight pounds. Another vintage jewelry lot, uh, twenty-nine pounds. A lot of costume jewelry rings, fourteen pounds seventy-five. Pairs of earrings, uh, nine ninety-nine. A job lot of broken brooches, eight pounds. Some Arabian slipper pin, um, five ninety nine. A purple jumper from St Michael Marks and Spencer's, six pounds. A all going together. This freshwater pearl and jade necklace, this gold egg necklace, and a Johnny loves Rosie. Um, bag clip thing, £32.78. A nautical themed 
little gold colored charm bracelet 7.99 these all go in together so um virgin v very studio 54 style link necklace this basket weave vintage necklace and then this abalone one they all go in together 33 pounds 50 an abalone inlay um what's called alpaca mexico bangle nine pounds 49 a modernist style uh, kind of cleopatra collar length necklace from marks and spencers nine pounds an aquarian brand uh, tweed bait blazer 15.99 a scottish by mitzvah brooch and a celtic cross silver tone necklace 23 pounds 98 a little rude off the red nose reindeer necklace four pounds oh right hello kerry um you have bought this this is a jewelry box in here a big bugger almost identical to the one that i've got and i was considering keeping that and then you sent in an offer and i was like i'm going then so there we go but hello carrie um and then this brutalist cuff bangle 9.99 pewter bonnet pin five pounds fifty another alpaca mexico with turquoise inlay bangle went for 12 pounds the rather fabulous bars i picked up the other week the native american one that went for £25. Du, du, du. A Trafari Brutalist style um, collar length necklace, £14. This puffed pillow bib necklace, £12.99. A Swarovski Tree of Life rose gold necklace, £25. This Marks and Spencer's Art Deco style ring, £8. A little faux pearl brooch six pounds fifty a horse's head poly pocket twenty pounds a vintage 70s prairie dress flouncy kind of dress 15 pounds a levi's belt 13 pounds 59 a polished stone necklace 15 pounds a 1960s little glass crystal necklace, eight pounds. An abalone inlay bracelet, six pounds forty. A long statement industrial style brushed silver tone link necklace, eight pounds fifty. There's little ster um, sterling silver gold plated with tourmaline, tour tourmalated quartz. It's very small, it's child size, but tourmalated quartz has got like little black bits in the quartz. Kind of cool looking. That's eight pounds. Some Etruscan style clip on earrings, six pounds. A little full pill. Gold toned bar brooch, three pounds 19. This cheeky Dutch girl plastic brooch, 18 99. This chunky chain. Fifteen pounds urban one two k. This rather kitsch um hanging dental floss dispenser. The dental floss comes out of the kitty's mouth. Went for fifteen pounds. An M C Escher jigsaw that my mother completed to make sure that it was all in one. Not one piece, because that would be a rubbish jigsaw, wouldn't it? To make sure it was in the appropriate amount of pieces. And that they were all there. $17.99. A 60s blue flower, rather fabulous brooch, £16. A job lot of untested watches, $24.99. This ready pink and gold colour beaded necklace, $9.99. A thin cloisonne bangle blue enamel 4.99 another hello um this is going to rosina she's bought a four kilogram bag of costume jewelry and um, the broken one so i'm presuming that she's a crafter and she's 
went in to have a little rummage and find some interesting bits, which there will be. A um, clothes and enamel floral pendant necklace, seven pound. Another clothes and enamel bib style necklace, fourteen pounds fifty. And then two vintage jewel craft, also known as Coro, bracelets, seventeen pounds fifty eight pence and 16 bags of two kilo lots of costume jewelry and now i've got to pack it all well hermes have come and picked up what i could do i've got all of these large letters and these ones to go and all of these ones and those are ready for pickup tomorrow um but it's gone 12 o'clock and i quite fancy a little bit of lunch <sighs> and this is my lunch today. Some uh, pork crunch with some chili cheese melted on top. Yum, yum. Hmm, so still haven't been paid from eBay, so I haven't done my parcels yet. I don't know what I fancy doing this afternoon. I normally go swimming, um, but it's quarter to two and I don't feel in the mood yet. I still, I don't know. I'm a bit bleh today uh yeah so sorry i can't take you swimming today <laughs> we'll go tomorrow i promise anyways i'm gonna show you what i bought from bristol at the weekend not the jewelry because that's going to be in a separate um sparkly things video and again not all of the sparkly things that i bought i spent 150 pounds all together um not all of it on jewelry i'll show you anyways you know what i mean but not all of the jewelry i'll show in the sparkly things video because a lot of it is what they call like bread and butter stuff you know enamel earrings and a chunky chain and stuff like that so you don't really need to th see those things just the the real special stuff isn't it yeah okay what i bought from bristol um car boot sale on Sunday. Um, my mum's been going on about getting a retractable clothes line or at least just a clothes line. I mean there's one up but it's like kind of loosely tethered to something and it's not very secure right now. So I got this for a fiver because it looks useful and um, if we can't use it my sister will probably use it at hers. So you know and then for my sister so it's fiver on this, I spent two pounds on this. My sister likes these. So this is for her. Um, she's organizing a Macmillan, um, you know, coffee morning thing in September. So she might keep it for that. But yeah, always useful to put your cakes and shears on, you know, and it folds up quite nice. It's cool, isn't it? So yeah, two pounds for that. I spent a pound on uh, this because it said Liberty on it. Um, it's for first class, so I think it's for like first class travel um, on say like British Airways or something, I'm not quite sure. I got it in case my mum wanted it, but she's like, oh, I've got enough wash bags. And I'm like, yeah, but you haven't got a Liberty wash bag. She's like, oh, fine, just sell it, it's okay. It's like, oh, all right then. So a Liberty wash bag. Um, it says exclusively for first and then the little, I don't know, maybe it's railways. Who knows? It's nice anyway. It's a nice little wash bag for a pound. They don't go for absolutely loads, but still, if mum doesn't want it, that's fine. It's fine. I got myself a copy of uh, J.G. Ballard's Empire of the Sun. J.G. Ballard also, well, wrote loads of things, but also wrote Crash, which got turned into a film starring uh, my favorite James Spader. Uh, it's a good film that about people who get turned on by being in car crashes. And then this got turned into a film as well and it's got a uh, teenage Christian Bale in it and that's very good film, very good. So got myself that. It's not quite a first edition. Um, this one is from the year after it was first um, copyrighted so there but it's still it's a nice one to have for 49p i bought this little box isn't it so cute with a little capped brass inlay 
just a nice little box it's sweet liked it this i think i bought for just under a pound i think i had like five things for four pounds something like that and this is not quite a stratton lip view but it's very similar the stratton lip views open sideways but this one opens likewise hello um but i got it because it's also signed as well but i'm not quite sure what it says there like louche lucette L O U S U T E or K E Lusa maybe Lusa no Anyway it's just pretty there's no actual brand on there unless that is the brand so I don't know I got um this little baby brush that looks like Gioche enamel but it's got like the plastic over the top um it was 99p and it's nice don't know whether to keep it though because it's kind of handy for you know just brushing cat hairs off you so we'll see we'll see that might be a little keeper this nice little tile josh didn't want it so i bought it pointed out to him and he's like nah so i'm like oh, all right i'll buy it then um but yeah this was 99 pence it's Naples, Italy, 1991. Someone has handily written on the back and then they were also writing a little message to someone. So to someone, love, rage. Um, but yeah, just a nice painted tile. I think that's quite pretty, isn't it? I should hope for a, a decent amount on that. I've looked at them brand new and they, they sell them for like 50 or quid brand new. So that's crazy, isn't it? My sister buys loads of china and she thinks that um, what I buy is ugly and I think what she buys is ugly because she likes all like, well, it's not that I think it's ugly, I'm just like it's too prissy for me, you know, she likes the tea sets with the little roses and the gold gilding and stuff. So I showed her this and she was like, that's fucking ugly, but I think it's fab. I think that's, it's probably Czechoslovakian, I should imagine. It has got number on the bottom 1685 and then the number 18 so probably like batch numbers and stuff um but i really like that kind of bamboo and i love the shape of the cup i don't know when it would date from but i think it's fabulous i love it my sister hates it but there we go and then i've got two bits of clothing so i've got this lovely skirt um 80s wallace so it's an 80s does 50s i'll properly show you so lovely big rockabilly skirt full skirt see that's rather fabulous it says it's a size 14 but um that'll be a no that's like a 10 to 12 really but yeah fabulous Rainbow rockabilly style dress and the skirt. And then I got a 90s Laura Ashley made in the UK tea dress with little mother of pill buttons down the front. Very 90s that. Cute little maxi dress. Um, this also says it's a size 14. Say a 12, really. 12 to 14, 12. And they were £6 each from charity shops. So yeah, um, I think I did really well over the weekend actually. It was nice to just go, I'm going to buy loads. And it was a lot of fun and I bought lots of beautiful things. Especially with the jewellery, there's some <clears throat> bits. Yeah. Right, I don't know what I'm going to do with this afternoon. I have got to do the packing at some point. But I don't particularly want to do listing today and I don't want to go swimming. Um, I kind of have this mental block thing that I can't do any of the work until my post is done, which seems really silly. I could get on with other stuff, but I kind of don't want to anyway. I might just watch a film. I'll let you know what happens. Mm -hmm. Just started watching a film called uh, Surrogates. It's got Brucey McWillis in it. And um, the money's gone into my PayPal, so I'm going to pause and I'm going to go and do my post. Ray. 
Mum's just dismembering a chicken for tea. Mum, mm -hmm. have you ever considered being a serial killer? Sometimes, especially with certain people. Oh. I won't ask who, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> And this is what I've got for dinner. Oh my God, believe it or not, underneath there, there's salad greens, there's peppers and tomatoes and spring onions. And then we've got some coleslaw. Um, and did I say egg? Yeah, boiled eggs, chicken, bacon, and Caesar salad dressing and some cheesies as croutons. And oh my God, beastly. That's me done for the day. Yeah, well, sort of. I'm going to go and film a Sparkly Things video in a minute after I finish watching Indiana Jones and, uh, which one? Last, no. Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's the one I've got on, yes. So, we'll go somewhere tomorrow. I'm not quite sure where yet. It might just be round town. Because I should really do a little bit of listing. And, um, go swimming. Yeah, so anyways... I'll catch you tomorrow. I shall leave you with some gratuitous shots of Azumi, because why not? And until then, bye-bye now, bye-bye.